meeting of 2018 of the Environment, Climate Change and Land Reform Committee. We have apologies from colleagues Gil Patterson and Stuart Stevenson. Before we move to the first item on the agenda, I want to remind everyone present to switch off mobile phones and other electronic devices as these may affect the broadcasting system. The first item on the agenda is for the committee to consider whether to take item three in private. Are we agreed? We are agreed. Uh, Agenda item two, the second item on the agenda is for the committee to consider its annual report 2017-18. I refer members to the draft report and I invite any comments. Richard Lyle. Just one small point uh, on the second page under EU scrutiny. In November and December 2017, the committee travelled to Brussels and London. Was it not just Brussels and the uh, convener and deputy convener went to London? That's correct. So just to amend to, to keep it correct. Okay. Uh, anyone else got? I, I just would, would John Scott. Want to say I, I welcome this report, um, and I think it's um, very important that we continue to produce reports such as this. And I welcome its content, and I'm surprised at the amount of work we appear to have got through. But. Um, Thank you for the authors of it. Yes, of course, that's a way of which and some of the work that we've carried out that's recorded there. Uh, Claudia Beamish. Uh, thanks, Gavin. I certainly welcome it as well. I just wonder, have we highlighted the subgroups on deposit return and air pollution that um, were formed? I'm not sure whether we've... I, I'm sorry if I missed it, but I don't think I've seen that. We haven't, sorry? We haven't referenced the subgroups. That were formed. The deposit return and air pollution. I'm sorry if I missed it. We haven't. But we haven't we haven't um, noted everything. If members wish that to be noted, we can. Yeah. Add, we I, can I add think it. that would be helpful because it does show, um, if nothing else, that that there's a, mm -hmm. a wide range of work and a, and a big body of work, and that in order to work effectively, um, subgroups are often okay. useful. Although it wasn't a formal committee arrangement, okay. it was a subgroup. Uh, are we agreed on that point? Uh, we'll have to double check the timings as to where that sat in the context of this past year, but subject to it being in this past year, we can, we can incorporate that. Uh, I have one small query which is on the graphics. There appears at face value to be a discrepancy between two numbers regarding the number of people who gave evidence. Could we double check those as well? Uh, having said all that, anybody else got any observations? Uh, subject to those uh, checks being made and changes where appropriate made, um, are we content to sign off the report? Yeah. Uh, and, that, and can I ask that that's left to myself as convener to finalise? Yeah. Thank you for that. Uh, at its next meeting on the 29th of May, the committee will consider numerous statutory instruments and take evidence from the Cabinet Secretary for Environment, Climate Change and Land Reform on community empowerment and environmental authorisations instruments. The committee will also consider an approach paper on the Climate Change Bill. As agreed earlier, the committee will now move into private session and I request that the public gallery be cleared as the public part of the meeting is now closed. <laughs>